Okay, in this video I'm going to attempt to show you how to control neural DSP plugins with MIDI inside Ableton using Morningstar MC8, MC6, or MC3. I have the MC8 connected through the Focusrite audio interface with a 5-pin MIDI. You can do most of this with a USB cable, however, I am running into trouble scrolling presets up and down when I'm only connected with a USB cable. Okay, this is how we do it. First, let's go inside Ableton. You'll see right here I have three tracks. First track is just my vocal mic. I'm using that right now to talk to you. Then you got to create a MIDI track here. Okay, so you just kind of right click, insert MIDI track, boom, that's what that is. And uh, I renamed it MIDI CW, you know, for Corey Wong, just so there's no confusion. Then I got an audio track right here. Okay, now this is where your plugin goes into. Okay, so inside here, you go to your plugin window here, scroll down, just drag it over to your audio track. All right. So to open up this little window here, this little uh, graphic user interface for the Neural DSP, you just click on this little wrench down here, all right? So what we're gonna do is on the MIDI track that I have here, you have to specifically go down and direct the MIDI signal to the third track here or the audio track that you create. So where it says MIDI 2, you're going to pick the name of the track and uh, it'll put this in here for you automatically. So anytime I enter any kind of MIDI command, it comes into here and sends it over to here. You have to have both of these tracks. You can't just have uh, an audio track. It won't receive the MIDI. All right, so I'm opening up the GUI here. Let's resize this down a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to show you here today is how to turn on and off the effects, uh, the wah pedal, how to control the wah pedal with an expression pedal, and scroll up and down the presets. So this is what I got going on right now. I got the compressor on and off right here. Postal service on off. The tuber and a big rig overdrive. Now you see when I have a pedal activated, I also have it set up so that the name of the pedal is blinking so that you know by looking at the pedal that it is turned on. So I'll turn it off and now you can see it stops blinking. Let's go over here to the wah. Right now I'm on this um, preset clean as a whistle. There is no wah activated on here. So let's activate it. Okay, there it is. Now, what I can do is, you can't see it in my camera, but I can actually control the wah with my expression pedal. Also with it active, I'm going to also turn on auto wah. So there you go. All right, so let's turn that off for now. Let's turn off wah for now. I'm gonna to go to page two of this bank and show you that I can scroll up and down the presets. There we go. Going up. And let's go back down. All right. So this is how we do it. All right, so I'm using the MC8. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to MorningstarFX.com. Then you want to go over to uh, the support drop down menu and click on device editor. And then uh, you'll open up the editor that is in relation to the version that your pedal is on. Um, I'm actually not updated to the latest 3.9, I'm on 3.8, so that's why this might look a little different than yours. So, starting with preset A. I have this set up for the delay. So what we're gonna do is just kind of look here. I have toggle mode on, preset blink on, okay? This is how you do turning it on and turning it off. Uh, you know, one press for on, one press for off. You have to have toggle mode on. 
Um, in my case, I'm using CC number 28. You can use any number you want, really. Uh, it's probably best when you're dealing with all of this. After we're done here, we're going to have like something 14 entries, so maybe just kind of keep a scratch pad to keep track of all the numbers. So I'm using 28 here. So I go press, control change, CC number 28, value 127, MIDI channel 1, that can be any channel you want. I'm keeping it at 1 right now. In my real rig, when I'm doing something, I actually change this up to get away from uh, all my other MIDI controllers. So the important thing is, is position 1, okay? So for your message 2, you're in position 2 and the CC value is zero. That's the difference between these two messages. The first one's 127, second one is zero. We have it at position one, position two. It's pretty much gonna be like this for all of the effects pedals, okay? So we'll just like roll on down to B. I got the wah, press, control change, CC number 20. 127, zero, position one, position two. Just keep rolling on like that for the compressor, um, the CC number. Again, it doesn't matter. You can pick whichever one. Just make sure you remember it. Write it down because you're going to need it again when we go into the uh, graphical user interface of the plugin that you're using, whether it be Pliny or Gojira or Corey Wong or whatever you got. This is pretty much universal, especially with all the uh, latest neural plugins. All right. Big rig, reverb, same kind of deal. Toggle mode on, preset blink on, 127.0, position one, position two. All right. I'm not really seeing anything too different here. Um, Ottawa also have it toggled. Okay, now this is the important one. This is the scroll down a preset. Now here's where it gets a little tricky. Uh, inside Neural DSP plugins, for whatever reason, it acts the same way that boss pedals act. If you've ever tried to use MIDI with a boss pedal, you probably know by now that it needs to reset to zero before activating the next command. So in this particular case right here I'm scrolling down the preset right first press is going to be CC number 10 127 both but the second message I have release that's when you're releasing the foot switch like lifting up your foot so you press and that's what actually changes the preset and when you pull your foot up it enters the command of zero. That's resetting it so that you can go to the next MIDI command. If you don't do this, it's not gonna work. So here I got scroll down, press on message one, control change, CC number 10, 127. Down here, message two, I have release, CC number 10, CC value zero. Those two things, press and release, CC value 127, CC value 0. That's very important here. And that has nothing to do with us here. So I think the next one is M. Yeah, preset up. Same deal. Press, control change, message 1 is 127. I got both here. Message 2 is release. CC value zero. Okay, now the only other thing I have here is how to control the wah pedal. On the Morningstar MIDI editor, you're going to go all the way down here to expression one. Okay, I have my um, expression pedal for this plugged into input one. So that's why this is expression one. I have this right here. So we'll go select preset, 
go all the way down to expression one. For type, you put expression CC. In my case, I'm using 15. Doesn't matter which number you use, just remember it for later. And then this is kind of the value scale. So you're starting at zero, going all the way to 127. Um, if you don't, that's basically like zero is with the expression pedal rocked all the way back and 127 is the expression pedal rocked all the way up. You don't have to do that. You can pick whatever range you want. You can go from 50 to 127 so that physically when you have the expression pedal rocked all the way back, it's only actually going 50%. Well, not 50%, but 50. Okay. So let's move on to what we do next just kind of keeping a note of everything that we did here we're going to open up Ableton again now inside this GUI we're going to click on the little uh, five pinned in you know little symbol down here all right now this is what I'm doing Everything I'm doing is CC absolute, you know, I'm sure there's probably some workarounds if I wanted to get into, you know, program change or whatever. Um, you know, it, it definitely messed me up for a minute because in most MIDI implementation, when you want to change presets, it's usually a program change. But in this case, I'm just doing CC absolute across the board. So this is how I'm going to turn on and off postal service. Uh, the number that I had programmed earlier was CC number 25, so that's what I did here. So you just go down to Postal Service Active, we're on channel 1, and then you just pick 25. For the compressor, it's 4th position compressor active, and it's going to be just active. That's all you're picking out down, you know, with all these pedals. Big rig overdrive active CC absolute delay active and remember when I told you to write down the numbers that you programmed in your Morningstar MIDI controller that's what you pick out here so I have this little scratch pad here that when I programmed the CC numbers over on Morningstar editor I wrote that beside what I was programming it for so I wrote CC 28 on the scratch pad next to delay active so now when I come over here I just pick 28 so we got the wash active, that's reverb in this case. Okay, now, this is gonna be the same thing because we picked uh, the two separate messages of value 127 and value zero. All we have to do is go CC absolute. For scrolling presets up, we pick preset next. And then CC 11, that's what I happen to pick. Preset down or preset previous, CC absolute. Um, preset previous you know pretty straightforward um, for the wah pedal to be active that's what this one is so CC absolute so to turn on and off the wah pedal you want to pick wah ing active okay gets a little confusing because then for the um, let's see the position of the wah that is called parameter preset wah ing wah okay so that's like when you rock the wah pedal back and forth that's what this is and then for the auto wah to turn the auto wah on and off in this case they're calling it wah ing mode okay so cc absolute all the way down most of these are just active you don't have to pick toggle or anything like that in here. It's just straight up CC absolute. So to turn the wah on and off, it's wah ing active. For the position of the wah, it's wah ing wah. And to turn auto wah on and off, it's wah ing mode. One little thing is you do have to turn on the wah pedal first and then turn on the auto wah. Okay, I think that's everything here. Um, I mean, obviously, we can get way more in depth. And if that's something you want to, uh, you know, look into, I'd be glad to help you out. But this is just like a super basic setup 
just kind of turning on and off your pedals. I mean, in the future, we could actually activate these different little sort of parameters inside each pedal and change their position with uh, an expression pedal of any sort. Uh, but for right now, I'm just setting it up like how to turn on and off your effects pedals. Um, and just kind of rocking your raw and going up and down the presets. Okay.